As foretold by prophecy, this is Booktubathon. Hooray! The wonderful adventure that is Booktubathon has returned. Booktubathon! Booktubathon! As you can tell, I'm a little bit excited. Okay, I'm really excited. Booktubathon. The time when we all come together to read and post videos and take part in challenges and maybe not read seven books because that's always an insane idea, but nevertheless we do it anyway. Booktubathon, of course, is hosted by the wonderful Ariel Bissett and a variety of other booktubers that she has recruited to the cause. You may find details, descriptions, and rules below. The event itself is named after that great Greek philosopher, Booktubathon. He did a lot of... reading... The most essential part of Booktubeathon is the reading challenges, and there are seven of them. Challenge 1. Read a book with yellow on the cover. The easiest and shortest option might be The King in Yellow, and it's also obvious because it has the word yellow in the title, and I would assume that any covers for this book would be yellow or at least contain some yellow. But I have decided to go with Theft of Swords by Michael J. Sullivan. I've been looking forward to a fun, escapist adventure, and I've been saving it for a nice, juicy summer read, so... Yeah. Two guys have to steal a sword, people die, they get framed, and hilarity ensues. Or something. We're going to find out. Challenge 2. Only read a book after sunset. I thought it would be appropriate to read A Man Lies Dreaming by Levi Tadar for the book that you read after dark. This way it'll be something I'll read before bed, and incredibly poignant if I fall asleep while reading it, which, around bedtime, happens a lot. It's about a Jewish prisoner of war in a concentration camp who dreams up a detective story while he is sleeping at night. This book was listed on my TBR last year for Booktubeathon, and I never got around to touching it. Challenge 3. Read a book you discovered through Booktube. In a couple of videos, Liz from Liz Loves Lit spoke highly of a book called Beyond Redemption by Michael R. Fletcher. It's a fantasy novel that doesn't seem to have gotten a whole lot of attention, but the way that she spoke and praised the book in her videos um, made me think this is something I should be checking out. I'm going into this one blind, not reading any descriptions on the back. There was just, the way she spoke about it just said, I needed to read this book. Buck, tuba, thong. Buck, tuba, thong. Challenge four, read a book by one of your favorite authors. One of my favorite authors is Ian M. Banks, and I'm going to read his book, Inversions. And this book is the culture novel that isn't a culture novel, because it's written from the point of view of a medieval-type society that encounters... Uh, two beings from a higher civilization. Of course, this civilization being aliens of some kind. It's loosely considered a culture novel because the characters drop hints but don't directly say that they are from the culture. Greetings, humans. I am Booktubatron. Booktubathon. Booktubathon. Challenge 5. Read a book that is older than you. Well, this one was depressing, so I'm not even going to talk about how old I am. But I found a book um, that was really short called Double Star by Robert A. Heinlein. It's about an actor who has to impersonate a political figure, some type of galactic overlord guy, in order to fill in his shoes so that nobody suspects that the guy is missing. It's basically the plot of Dave in space. And I'm choosing it for this book Tubathon because it's incredibly, incredibly short. Challenge 6. Read and watch a book-to-movie adaptation. I had to search my house high and low for a book I haven't read that has been adapted into a movie or TV show of some kind, which is why I've decided to read I, Robot by Isaac Asimov. It'd be cool to check out this classic of science fiction finally and see what the jazz is all about. It was a very hard search. It was either going to be I, Robot or Power Rangers. Unfortunately, this means I have to watch I, Robot. Uh... Challenge 7. Read seven books. All of those challenges cover six books, so I'll be pulling from my currently reading pile to fill out the remaining books, which may be The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin or Slan by A.E. Van Vogt. What I'm really trying to do is finish out the last few Hugo-nominated works that I have to read. The Fifth Season is a book about a tectonic apocalypse and magicians that can wield the power of geology, or their magic is powered by geology. Geology is magic? Rocks. Slan is a novel by A.E. Van Vogt, and it's about the persecution that a bunch of telepathic people face in a world that doesn't want that mutation. It's a very well-written book for the 40s, as a lot of science fiction of that time was not yet mature enough, but A.E. Van Vogt writes with more weight and seriousness than a lot of other authors at the time did. It's comparable to the persecution that mutants face in the graphic novels of X-Men. 
So those are my reading goals for Booktubeathon, and we'll, we'll just see how the video challenges go. It's somewhat difficult to do them every day, as you know, but fingers crossed, either way, it's going to be a lot of fun. Happy reading. It is time to begin. Go forth, Booktubeathon.